Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to our talk today. Welcome to training a new generation of data scientists. My name is Josh Wills. Uh, I am Cloudera's Senior Director of Data Science. I've been with Cloudera for about 18 months now, and my job here is to work with Cloudera's customers to develop data-intensive, um, large-scale analytical applications on top of Apache Hadoop. Um, I work with in industries as diverse as bioinformatics, web stuff, consumer finance, medicine, oil and gas, really just about any industry uh, where we need to make use, intelligent use of large amounts of data in order to make better decisions. Before I was at Cloudera, I did about four years at Google. Uh, my first job at Google was working on the ad auction, so deciding where on the web page different ads should go and how much different people should pay. My job after that was building data infrastructure, so everything related to logging, uh, experiments and A-B testing, developing machine learning models like friend recommendation systems. A lot of it got used in Google News, a lot of it got used in Google Plus, a lot of it got used in mobile search. So I've been very lucky to do really just about anything you could possibly do uh, in large-scale data processing, Hadoop, and MapReduce for the last five years or so. Um, so all that said, um, if I was to die tomorrow, uh, the thing that I would be most remembered for is this tweet, uh, which is a definition of data scientist, what it means to be a data scientist. So my definition is a data scientist is someone who is better at statistics than any software engineer and better at software engineering than any statistician. And so, you know, if you think about it to the extent that, you know, it's, you can make a definition in less than 140 characters and, and have it be good and meaningful, um, this is a pretty good definition of what it means to be a data scientist. And to the extent that being retweeted a lot is indicative of credibility, um, a lot of people basically agree with me on this one. All right. So let's talk a little bit about, like, what exactly it is I do as a data scientist. So... I think there's a, lot of different, there's a lot of misconceptions out there about what data scientists do. Um, and unfortunately, some of those misconceptions come from data scientists themselves. Um, so let's go through sort of different perspectives on what data scientists do. There's sort of in one level, there's what I think I do. Um, and I think of myself primarily as a mathematician. Um, I think that I work on math problems. Um, I formulate abstract ideas. I write up lots of equations on boards. And then I find ways to implement those ideas and make them a reality. So I really think of myself as a math nerd, first and foremost. All right. Um, in the popular conception, though, I think the popular conception of data scientists is sort of like uh, Tom Cruise in Minority Report. So if you've ever seen this movie, Tom Cruise spends lots of times visualizing data. There's a big kind of grid, and he can move data and information around on the grid. Because most of what people see about data scientists in the public are really cool data visualizations. So I think my parents assume that I spend most of my days with big computer monitors, you know, moving data sets around and, and looking at them and that kind of stuff. That's what other people think I do, all right? But in terms of what I really do, um, the best analogy I could come up with was uh, Forrest Gump. There's a scene in Forrest Gump where Forrest and Bubba uh, have their toothbrushes and they're cleaning the floor of the barracks with a toothbrush. That's actually a pretty good description of what I spend most of my time doing. Um, I spend the vast majority of my time cleaning data sets, preparing data sets. There's a whole bunch of data, and I have a little tiny toothbrush, and I, I clean data. That's really what I do. Um, the reason I do that is because cleansing data sets, preparing data sets, making them better, um, makes everything I do better. It makes my machine learning models better. It makes the inferences that I make for uh, business leaders, business executives better. It makes my dashboards more accurate. Uh, cleaning data incorporating new data sets, um, t like joining different data sets together, this is the highest value activity I do. And that's what I spend the vast majority of my time doing. All right? So that's different conceptions of, of what it is to be a data scientist. So I'd like to talk a little bit about how the term data scientist emerged. For the first 10 years or so of my career, 